Scriptures say God created the family and children are a gift from him. But they're a tricky gift. Managing children is not all fun and games, especially when video games are involved. Imagine a child brandishing a cleaver at you simply because you did not allow him to play online games. Doesn't sound fun at all. And we're not playing games here. This is exactly what happened in China. Our father did not let his son play video games. This is a primary school kid we're talking about. His father took away his phone. The child became furious. He started threatening the father with a meat chopper, screaming, give it back to me, obviously referring to the phone. The boy continued doing this before the man overpowered him. He took away the chopper, much like we imagine the phone was taken away in the first place. A video of this shocking standoff has gone viral in China. It has been viewed by more than 7 million people. This happened as school began after the end of winter holidays. Every winter and summer break, the seasonal change doesn't just bring allergies with it. It also sparks the video game debate. It's fairly common in China. So is mobile game addiction among children and teenagers. China is the world's largest video game market. It has more than 700 million gamers across platforms. Gaming addiction is serious, so much so that the government came up with new laws. Beijing implemented strict measures in August 2021. This crackdown included a number of rules, like tight grip on online content and playing time restrictions for children. Also, a temporary freeze on new games. Last year, domestic games got just 462 licenses. The year before, that number was 755. So China is limiting the number of and access to video games. And it says this crackdown has brought positive results. China has declared a victory over gaming addiction in minors. It says more than 75% minors have limited their playing time to three hours a week. And this problem has been quote-unquote basically solved. But soon after the announcement, this happened. China granted licenses to 44 imported games, the first such approvals in 18 months. This thaw in industry crackdown also followed an article in the People's Daily, which is the Chinese Communist Party's mouthpiece. It said the gaming industry is of great significance to China. It helps the country's industrial layout and tech innovation. Which makes us wonder, is this a curious case of gaming the system itself? With good PR, it seems like the problem has vanished. But government aside, let's talk about mobile gaming companies in the country. They say they want to make a positive impact. What have they done about it? They followed the government and introduced new rules, like what? Limiting the playing time for children and confirming their age. So a player must now upload an identity card. They even require facial recognition to prove their age. Take the example of Tencent Games. It is China's largest producer of mobile games. It has restricted the gaming timings from 8 to 9 p.m., but these measures are not enough. Children simply use their parents' phones to bypass the rules. They even secretly make payments on games to access more features. By the looks of it, gaming addiction is not going away anytime soon, and China is not the only country facing this issue. The gaming industry is booming the world over. This expansion was driven by the pandemic. Many gamers picked up their controllers and smartphones to escape boredom in lockdowns. And the numbers say it all. The market expanded by 26% between 2019 and 2021. China and the US dominated the market in 2021. They accounted for about half of all gaming revenues. But future growth will be seen in other nations. Projections say the global gaming industry could be worth $321 billion by 2026. The market will expand the fastest in Turkey of all places. It will see an average growth of about 24% by 2026, followed by Pakistan, average growth of about 22%. And then India, yes, we're not far behind. Our expansion could be about 18%. 2022 ended with about 396 million gamers in India, the overall Indian gaming market is valued at more than $2.5 billion. The global gaming industry is swimming in cash. But what about the toll it takes on children? Experts say gaming addiction in minors is one of the leading causes behind rising myopia, that short-sightedness, mental health problems, poor concentration, and sleep disorders. It's a serious issue and it ails gamers across the world. So much so that gaming addiction has its own name. It's called the gaming disorder. The World Health Organization defined it as a pattern of gaming behavior characterized by impaired control over gaming. 
It's when gaming gets an increased priority over all other interests. It only affects a small population of gamers, but knowing more about it can help prevent potential harm. Parents can play a role here. They can monitor and limit the games that their children play. Simple actions like keeping the gaming console in a different room can reduce its use. Also notice changes in behavioral patterns after excessive gaming. And talk to children about staying safe online. Teachers can also play a part here. Spreading more awareness, opening channels of communication about gaming can go a long way. The fact of the matter is, video games are here to stay and video games are not all bad. They can strengthen cognitive skills and teach you social skills like teamwork. But like all things, only if done in moderation. That is the key, gaming in moderation. Think about it. Are you playing the game or is it playing you? After all, an army of cleaver-wielding minions does not sound too good for the society.